My name is Ali and welcome to my channel. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. I know people might be wondering, I'm not a vegan or a vegetarian. I just eat like your average American. And I purposely try to tie in foods to grow my hair. But besides that, I've always loved fruits and veggies. I am challenging you to eat the same foods that I eat every single month. So I've been eating these foods for a year. For those of you, some of you may already know this from my other videos. But for those of you who are new, my hair was collarbone length last year, and now it is um, much longer than that. It's about bra strap length, and that is thanks to eating all these foods consistently every single month. So this challenge only requires you to eat these foods for two months, or you can do one month, month if you'd like. But I was able to see significant growth over a course of a few months, so... I would challenge you to not give up after two months. Hopefully this challenge gets you into the habit of eating these foods, even if, even if they're not your favorite, they're really, really, really beneficial for your hair. I just want to say as a disclaimer, in this challenge recording, I may not achieve as much significant growth as you do because again, I've been eating these foods for a whole entire year, every single month. So my body is used to these foods, you know. There's no shock to my system or influx of nutrients and vitamins that I haven't been getting already. But I just hope that this challenge pushes you to eat these foods regularly because, yeah, I mean, the proof is in the length. <laughs> so step one of the challenge, if you're doing it for one month, I highly recommend that you get a protective style. If you are doing it for two months, then I recommend you... Get a protective style for one month and do low manipulation styles for another month. Wearing a protective style will allow you to retain the length that you get throughout this challenge because you won't be touching your hair every day or wearing your afro out, rubbing against your shirt, and you won't have to worry about breakage. So to get your most accurate results, I think it's best to measure your hair before you get your protective style and then get wear your style for a month or as long as you can wear it and then measure your hair after. I'll be doing the challenge for two months. So to start off, I just did these the other day. This is what I would call a low manipulation style. They're mini twists. And as you can see, I can just put it up in a style. I can put on my bonnet at night and not have to worry about spending 30 minutes to an hour doing my hair. So it saves you time and I'm leaving my hair alone so I don't have to worry about breakage or losing hair in the process of growing my hair. So step two would be to get your foods. There are other gross foods if you don't want to eat these foods that I recommend. If you change anything that I suggest, you may have a difference in your growth. So, you know, just putting that out there. Each month you should be eating two bags of carrots. Here's my carrots. <laughs> I just buy the baby carrots from Walmart. These were literally 98 cents. So they're very, very cheap, and I like carrots. I kind of eat them as a substitute for chips sometimes. So two bags of carrots each month. And carrots are rich in vitamin A and vitamin C. The next food you will be eating is almonds. So I just buy the great value kind from Walmart because they're the cheapest. <laughs> These are the lightly roasted and salted almonds. So this is for one month almonds trying to like read my notes <laughs> almonds are rich in biotin omega fatty acids and they provide stronger and shinier hair the next thing that I wanted to incorporate which I kind of was going to leave out but I eat, I drink it every month is almond milk <laughs> I don't know I just switched to almond milk after watching what the health even though I still eat meat I just like almond milk is sweeter I don't eat cereal because I ate it so much as a child so I don't know with the almond milk I kind of make I put it in my milkshakes and frappuccinos homemade frappuccinos are bomb 
yeah so one jug of this each month the next food that i recommend you eat each month is one carton of eggs this is empty an old carton of eggs because i didn't want my new carton to just sit out on you know while i record my videos but eggs are rich in protein and if you're like a vegan or vegetarian oops good thing i don't have eggs in here <laughs> but if you're like a vegan or vegetarian of course you can't you don't want to eat these so i mean i just don't know what to say the next food that i recommend that you eat each month is one bag of spinach and this is the bag of spinach that i have got this from walmart spinach is rich in vitamin b vitamin c vitamin e fatty acid potassium and iron it's probably some more stuff but um i just recommend kind of try to disperse this throughout the week because i think spinach can kind of go bad quickly so try to store it you know sealed or something when i eat spinach i eat like like a salad with baked chicken or I put it in my tacos, which might be weird. Chicken tacos with spinach, I don't know, I like it. <laughs> you can also eat your spinach with your omelets and that's great because you're knocking out some of your eggs as well as some of your spinach. Just trying to give y'all some ideas in case somebody's wondering how I eat it. The next food for hair growth is avocados. And you can either eat avocados fresh or you can eat guacamole. Um, I personally will probably go the route with guacamole because I think it lasts longer. But I would recommend you eat at least two avocados each month or about a container of guacamole. I tried to Google how many avocados are in a can of guacamole, but for some strange reason, it's not even listed. So I have no clue. Avocados are rich in vitamin B, vitamin E, and they help repair your scalp. So however you're getting your avocado is great. The next food that I, I recommend that you eat is bell peppers. Bell peppers are rich in vitamin A and vitamin C. I know the ones that are really listed as helping your hair grow are the yellow peppers. I personally like peppers, so I eat three a month. So I'm going to challenge you to eat three a month. <laughs> peppers, you can put them in your omelets. You can make, sometimes I eat baked chicken with peppers on top and rice on the side. Sometimes I eat sandwiches and put peppers inside. Might be weird, but I eat like the sandwich with guacamole and peppers so, and spinach sometimes. Like you could just knock out all your foods with sandwiches are really simple meals. So you don't have to do anything extravagant. If you're like not really one who cooks so over the course of a month you should be eating three bell peppers two bags of carrots one bag of almonds one carton of eggs two avocados or one small can of guacamole one bag of spinach and one carton of almond milk another element of the challenge will be to massage your scalp every single day now this will really be a huge challenge for me again i already eat these foods and i'm really big on protective styles and low manipulation styles but i am not yet in the habit of massaging my scalp like daily and i know people who have hair to their waist and they say they massage their scalp so i challenge you as well as myself to massage our scalps every single day I'm going to do mine for about three minutes every day. I might even set an alarm so I can stay dedicated to it. But I know that circulates blood flow and can enhance your hair growing and, you know, help you out. Give you a little push. I'll be starting my growth challenge on Sunday, August 26th. And I'll be ending it on October 26th. Well, ending it, you know. Measuring my hair was much harder than I thought. I started off measuring my hair in the shirt I had on, just using a sharpie, pulling the two ear pieces down and measuring in the front. And then I foolishly pulled the back piece of my hair and measured it in the front also. It looked like my hair grew this long already rather than being two different pieces of hair. So I changed shirts. And here I'm just pulling both pieces of my hair to show you how long they are and they are both 
12 and a half inches long. I did use a tape measure, but I'll include that film in the video I post in two months. This is my bang. It measured about 11 and a half inches. Luckily, it was long enough to reach the collar of my shirt, so I just marked how long it was. And then I had my boyfriend help me measure the back. Like, if you have to mark over my hair, that's fine. Over your hair? At the bottom. <laughs> oh my gosh. My hair has been as long as an arrow lately, so I knew something was wrong. Is that accurate? You can't even see it. You just said mark it. Can you go a little darker? It's dark. Just layer it some more. This will look like you can't really see it on camera. And you can already see here, I'm pulling my hair past the line, but we're still marking it in the middle. <laughs> You're too far. My hair ain't that long. <laughs> I then went back to the left side of my hair to re-examine the length and I realized I was pulling it in the middle of my hair and when I pulled it straight down it was longer because my hand reaches the middle of my back. So it's hard to hold it on the correct side, if that makes sense. But here you can see, when I hold it straight down rather than diagonal, it does reach to this new line we created. So, good luck with your hair growth challenge. Uh, follow my Instagram, at AdorableAlley. You can DM me your photos or comment below how many inches you've grown or how your hair has changed. I'll be making an updated result video, so be on the lookout for that in two months. Thanks for watching. Hopefully your hair grows as well, and I'll catch you in the next video.